Don't let the enemy steal your joy. It is with utmost delight that we, as believers, tap into the abundant blessings and promises bestowed upon us by our gracious God. The significance and indispensability of joy in the lives of believers cannot be overstated. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verse 3, we are reminded that with joy, we draw forth the life-giving waters from the wells of salvation. Additionally, the Apostle Paul exhorts us in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, saying, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, Rejoice. Aware of the paramount role that joy plays in our communion and relationship with God, the cunning enemy seeks to snatch away this precious gift. By doing so, the enemy aims to deprive us of the boundless blessings and exquisite bliss that accompany our joyous union with our Heavenly Father. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, we are admonished to express our gratitude to God in all circumstances, for it is His divine will for us in Christ Jesus. This verse encapsulates the essence of embracing joy and rejoicing incessantly, enabling us to witness our heartfelt desires and sincere expectations fulfilled by the hand of our loving God. As we gather in prayer during this sacred hour, I sense the comforting presence of God, ready to restore the joy and peace of all those who have fallen victim to the stealthy theft perpetuated by unseen powers and malevolent influences. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I prophesy that you shall once again rejoice and experience profound happiness. Let us therefore bow our heads in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we approach your divine presence today, humbled and grateful for your abounding love, goodness, and benevolence toward us, your cherished children. Lord, we draw near to you in accordance with the guiding principles of your word. Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and you shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Thus, O Lord, we beseech you to restore the stolen treasures of joy, hope, and liberty to all those who are within the sound of my voice, individuals whose joy, peace, and freedom have been unjustly confined or snatched away by the malicious enemy, Satan. In the precious name of Jesus the Christ, we implore you, dear Lord, to bring about a renewal of hope among the desolate, a restoration of peace within troubled minds, and a liberation for the oppressed. As declared in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the cankerworm, the caterpillar, and the pommelworm, my great army, which I sent among you. Therefore Lord, we petition you to restore to each individual, encompassed by the reach of my voice, whatever has been stolen from them by the adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ, we invoke your divine power to reclaim that which has been lost, be it health, financial stability, freedom, honor, or dignity. May your restorative grace be poured out upon us. Just as we gain wisdom from the words of Jesus in John 10, verse 10, which states, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy, I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full. And in verse 11, I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Therefore Lord, our benevolent shepherd, we implore you to restore to each and every listener whatever they have been deprived of. Whether it be physical well-being, financial stability, personal freedom, honorable reputation, or a sense of dignity. In the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord, from this moment forward, be our faithful shepherd, guiding us along the path of righteousness, wisdom, favor, and honor, all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The adversary, unquestionably, is a thief. In the Gospel of John, chapter 10, he is referred to as such. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy, I have come that they may have life, 
and have it to the full. It is evident from scripture that the devil operates with three distinct objectives, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. However, we find solace and hope in our Savior, Jesus Christ, who came to grant us abundant life. Therefore, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I fervently pray and decree the restoration of peace and joy to all those who have suffered the loss of their joy, hope, or peace. To every troubled situation encountered by anyone within the sound of my voice, I declare with authority. Peace, be still. In the name of Jesus Christ. To anyone influenced by negative forces, I decree sanity in the restoration of hope, peace, joy, and soundness of mind. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. The devil endeavors to rob us of our joy because joy is vital in our reception of God's blessings and fulfillment of our requests. As stated in Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Therefore, aware of the essential role joy plays in accessing the wellsprings of salvation, the devil seeks to steal our joy. Furthermore, the devil aims to strip us of our joy and hinder us from experiencing the abundant grace attained through obedience and adherence to God's will. Philippians chapter 4, from verses 4 to 7, imparts this wisdom. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Therefore, Heavenly Father, any devil or agent of darkness employing gloom and the absence of joy to steal or deprive us of your blessings, I beseech you to arrest and render them powerless in your divine authority. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dearest Heavenly Father, I earnestly pray for the fulfillment of your promise through the prophet Joel in chapter 2, from verses 25 to 26, which declares, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, the great locust and the young locust, the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army that I sent among you. You will have plenty to eat, until you are full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has worked wonders for you, never again will my people be shamed. By the unwavering power of your infallible word, I implore you Lord, to restore to us whatever has been stolen from us by the devil and his allies. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Lord, for everyone burdened with shame or subjected to circumstances that bring about shame, I humbly request your restoration of dignity and honor in their lives, all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, envelop each soul present here, bringing comfort, healing, and unbridled joy. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Gracious Father, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to you for hearing our prayers, for we pray in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen.